What is good YouTube, Warstu here with a video on Black Panther 2 in the MCU. Kevin Feige has recently said some things about Black Panther 2, which is pretty interesting. So, we're also going to talk briefly about Spider-Man Far From Home coming out tomorrow. And at the back end of this video, we will be talking about Spider-Man Far From Home home so i've already recorded my spoiler based review which is going to come out tomorrow i'm going to wait till the movie comes out i know i've already did the post credit video that's just because i wanted to do it like it wasn't really ruining anything unless you clicked into the said video so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe so we can get that hundred thousand subscriber tip no i'm only joking but it would be cool to hit that number one day so black panther hit 1.344 billion us dollars at the cinema but you guys would call it the theaters. So that is pretty cool. It's one of the highest grossing MCU movies ever. We're talking about standalone movies. We're not talking about team movies. So this movie, from a culture point of view, changed the game. Yes, just like Captain Marvel changed the game, being the first solo female superhero movie ever in the MCU. This did it from a cultural standpoint. But both movies had diversity. Both movies had a lot of attacks online saying they wouldn't do very good. Yet they both hit over one billion. So... This movie, Black Panther 2, was originally, rumouredly, supposed to come out on November the 6th, 2020, or February the 12th, 2021, but these have both been debunked by Kevin Feige, who's his head of Marvel Studios. So as we know, Marvel does have eight movies, time slots, over the next three years, but recently, Mr. Kevin Feige himself says the movie is an early into pre-production, which is interesting. So, pure rumor, Feige told Bet when asked in an interview about the validity of Killmonger returning, and the honest answer to that is, it's early, so nothing is set in any way, shape, or form, because Mr. Coogler is sitting down, literally, with Nat Moore and myself in a couple of weeks. Feige's statements make it clear that the movie is in the early stages of production, so this does not disprove officially 100% that Killmonger played by Michael B. Jordan will not feature in this movie. He is just saying that it's too early in to production to even talk about anything to do with the movie. So realistically, it doesn't even sound like they've got the script yet. And realistically, if he is, if they are in early production now, I don't really think they'd be shooting to at least 2021. Maybe the end of next year at earliest, which is very interesting. As we know, they do have a unique standpoint here. Now, I can't remember the exact date, but about a year ago, I did a video saying that if they wanted to introduce the MCU to the X-Men or, or introduce the X-Men to the MCU, one way could be to introduce Storm to Black Panther to Charla because in the comics, Black Panther has had a romantic relationship with Storm, it would be a pretty cool way to bridge the gap between MCU people who already exist and the new Fox characters that are now owned by Walt Disney who are coming through to the MCU in the next five years. Although Mr. Kevin Feige did say that no X-Men character will appear for at least five years, as he says there's nothing really set in stone, you can't discredit the fact that maybe someone like Storm could debut during Black Panther 2. So this is technically the first official news that we've had on Black Panther 2. Now it is really ridiculous and funny in ways guys, why? Because as I said at the start of the video, this movie was supposed to come out originally, the rumored date was November next year or February 2021 and they're only early into production so of course Kevin Feige cannot confirm who the villain would be they don't tend to reveal villains that early that being said it does look like the villain for the actual Black Widow movie whatever they decide to call it because it's not just going to be called the Black Widow movie I presume they're going to give it some actual title after that which is interesting Taskmaster could actually be the villain of that movie We've seen some images earlier last week about that. But realistically, Keanu Reeves could be playing Taskmaster. Not likely, but seeing as Keanu Reeves was literally thought of for every single role within the MCU, it is not too far-fetched to think that Keanu Reeves could actually play the Taskmaster, who is literally someone who can steal, learn, 
anything instantaneously. He would be really hard for any MCU character to beat. Yes, even Captain Marvel, because he could literally copy everything she does and like learn everything instantly. So yeah, it would be pretty hard. So as we go into phase four, it's going to be very interesting. So as I said, it is the 1st of July as of recording this. We have the spoiler-based video for Spider-Man Far From Home. So guys, I've got a really cool video for tomorrow talking about exactly what happened. So the movie does come out tomorrow, which is pretty cool in America. So spoiler free spoilers galore as you lot like to kind of talk spoilers so the 2nd july will be tomorrow and then we can post it so is robert downey jr going to be in this is the kind of story that has been kind of misled i guess throughout all the trailers so there is definitely an iron man kind of tony stark feel that he is in the morning of obviously Iron Man dying in Endgame. Now, this is not a spoiler because it's been said by Tom Holland himself that essentially Spider-Man Far From Home is a movie about trying to move on. You know, they keep using that move online. You know, in Endgame, move on, bananas, move on, bananas. You know, the bananas or the Ultron a character that was meant to appear in Endgame that never happened, but it was a funny thing. Interesting story is, if you watch the video we posted for all this, the Russo bro said there's so many little things here and there that happened in Endgame that no one's even noticed, and that is very interesting. So, we're not going to talk about spoilers. So, if you did watch all the trailers for Spider-Man Far From Home, I can confirm and verify you know nothing about the movie still but it is interesting that a lot of people are expecting an artificial intelligence version of tony stark to appear in this movie now is iron man listed for this movie i don't know because i don't really use imdb i don't trust it so essentially is iron man gonna be in this movie i think you guys already know the answer to this question he died so the answer is no he will not be in this movie but will he live on forever in the mcu in some sense in every single marvel cinematic universe movie yes sure dudes it, he will in some form of capacity because obviously his mentor was tony stark essentially tony stark is the godfather he was spider-man's mentor now i did a video earlier this week talking about how i think tony stark was the person that actually artificially genetically modified a spider so it would bite peter parker and he orchestrated the whole thing now that would be very interesting guys no spoilers that is literally just a theory i'm not talking about what actually happened in the movie this is me talking theory based i can still talk theories even though i know what happens in the movie i think that would be pretty insane if that did happen so yes is Tony Stark in the movie? Spoiler warning if this ruins your life. No, you don't really need a spoiler warning. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, guys. But I put a post up on my community tab earlier. And I got a lot of interesting comments. 17 comments, which is insane. No, but there are mentions of him, of course. And it is very interesting. No, bro. No, bro. Love Iron Man. AI. Flashbacks, maybe. So a lot of people seem to think he's going to be in the movie. And there was one interesting fella that said, No, RDJ's contract with Marvel is over. Well, is it really over? Because unless you are Robert Downey Jr., you don't actually know what is in his contract because a contract can be over, but there can be certain stipulations that allow him to creep up in other roles. Now, I do like the popular theory going around that eventually at some point, Robert Downey Jr. will appear as Tony Stark as a hologram version. Now, that would be very interesting if that was to happen, but there is definitely a vibe. We've all seen the trailer, you know? We've all seen the trailer, the scene where he gets... Tony Stark's glasses. Now, that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. It's so cool. We see it in the trailer. I can't wait to watch this movie again. So there is something I'm going to tease. Not give away, but tease. Okay? There is something that about this movie that you're going to find out when you watch it this week. There is a big secret about Tony Stark, right? A big, big secret. Now, I've been seeing videos, content all around the internet. Tony Stark, biggest secret revealed. Tony Stark... Biggest secret revealed. Tony Stark, deepest secret revealed. And then I watch the, like the content or the post or something, and I, re I watch it and think, yeah, this is wrong. There is a crazy big secret about Tony Stark that you will see in this movie. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but that's just a tease for you. Now, I did give a spoiler warning. So if you've made it this far in the video, hashtag Team Warheads forever. Team Warheads 100,000 subscribers because that is the goal. We want to hit that by the end of this year. That would be insane if we did. So, yes, there is a crazy, crazy secret we find out about Tony Stark. But that is not going to ruin the movie for anyone. And if anyone comments down below that it did ruin the movie, there was a spoiler warning. 
because this does not ruin the movie for anyone. Everyone knows that there's going to be a big moment. There's lots of big moments in Spider-Man Far From Home. And I quite frankly, I think it's better than Avengers 3 and 4 put together. Say what War Studio just said, Spider-Man Far From Home is better than Spider-Man 3. Two, Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War. Yes, it is, guys. It really is better from a storytelling point of view. Go and watch it. There's a big secret that's been revealed, but I can say this. No one's revealed it yet. It's like I've looked at a few plot leaks now. I've watched the movie, and some of the plot leaks are so far off, guys. So don't worry. The plot leaks haven't really ruined anything. And as for the mid credit and post credit scene, unless you've watched the movie, you know, Jack, you really don't know anything, guys. Why? Because you need the context of everything that happens before the mid credit and post credit scene actually plays out. But we will talk about that more after Tuesday. I've got a full spoiler based video coming out tomorrow, most likely at 4 p.m. GMT tea time can't wait to talk about that so guys let me know are you hyped for black panther 2 are you hyped to find out what tony stark's biggest secret is and are you hyped to find out if tony stark's actually going to appear in this movie in more than just a flashback a premonition a kind of i miss you tony stark kind of scene so excited to watch this movie again very soon so like always guys please like subscribe and comment i will catch you in that next video very soon catch you later